Well, the renovation of this apartment actually started because something new had to be made. And then Kohilika suggested Mama Sinsa... Mrs. Mrs. Kohli, have you told them how you will mean one of my most difficult clients? Well, I just wanted to be treated really like a client. But now you've been talking so much in the interview. Come on, let's go sit. Okay, done. You know what we did with this little sitting room, which has become so useful in a relatively small apartment. I hope I you love like this. the table. I think it's so sexy and I think I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I mean, I, this is back from, just Just the way you stole, my, you stole my Kinsley, just like that. Well, you know, I mean, I needed a break in all this kind of 19th century stuff and particularly these, these, I mean, I love them, these wonderful watercolors done by an ornithologist. So we, I'm getting the Kinsley back, right? No, you're not. <laughs> I mean, you know. And I love the fact that you did me a dresser. I mean, the first time in seven decades that I've had a dressing table. I mean, hand mirrors, um, shoehorns, they all belong to another era. People don't even use them now. And you like how I placed that 10th century um, statue, which is copied from, from the one at the Met. I am a dreamer and adventurer, uh, a traveler, and I love spending time with my dogs. So I think that's who I am when I'm not working. What about you, mom? Ditto, excepting that I would say I love reading. For me, a holiday is staying at home and being able to read with no work. I always wanted to be somewhere in the field of design, and then we took a trip to Ampi. Yeah. And uh, I think that kind of sealed the deal for me. And I said, I, I think I think it was 12 when I said, no, I want to be an architect. I don't think you told me that. You told me the day you graduated from Pratt yeah, Institute. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That I think then do that... you remember when you took me on that amazing trip to Hampi? That's when I decided I wanted to be an architect. I had the discipline once I knew where I was going of being an autodidact. I'm self-taught. So perhaps I've gone a step further than what a formal training could have given me. I am very conscious of educating myself. I have the discipline of research. There's so much art all around us in nature. So we all kind of, at least we, have always felt that, you know, the most beautiful things are things which you find naturally. And, you know, the wonderful thing about artists is also because they love to promote art. I mean, look at this book, for instance, Kala, which they are promoting. It's going to be launched in, uh, in Milan and London. in London uh, next month. And because they really believe in culture and they really believe in Kala. And uh, of course, Kala, I've defined it uh, in the book myself. It's a singular Indian word and it is something that encompasses art, architecture, design, the performing arts. And this word, a singular word, which is evocative of all of this, does not exist in Western vocabularies.